Uh, hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Little Potato. We start the episode, as ever, looking out at the wonderful Palace of Soviet. Uh, as you can see, we are just about uh, ready to move on to the next stage of production. All that remains to be done is, what, a couple of additional... A couple of additional bits of gravel, a couple of different bits of asphalt, and then we're pretty much there, to be honest. Then we're pretty much there. So this is the installing prefab panel uh, stage of construction, and we are soon going to be moving on to the next stage of construction, and we will indeed see what that entails. Thank you, as ever, to everyone who left a comment. Uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, much appreciated. Lots and lots of comments. Uh, a lot concerned with the uh, with the nature of this one-way area. Now, the one-way area is at the moment. I think it is working. I think it is working, and uh, to be honest, I think that's mostly because of this bridge. I don't think it's anything to do with the one-way roads that I've instituted around the place. However, 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 the traffic is such that at the moment. I don't think it really gives a, a accurate representation of the system that we've got going. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we are finished this stage of production, uh, the prefab panel stage of production, and then you know upon upon the start of the uh, of the next phase of construction, I have no doubt that there is going to be about a bazillion steel trucks and a bazillion prefab panel trucks that are going to be dispatched to the area. So we should get a a really really good read on that, on what needs to be changed. You know, but but for now I think. Certainly, these two these two one-way roads are are okay. The bridge, I think, is okay. Everything else is, I guess, a little bit unnecessary. But you know, we can we can evaluate that uh, as and when we go right. So, uh, whilst we're waiting for that to occur, literally just 115 additional tons of gravel. That's quite quite uh, quite quickly going to happen, I think. Uh, bear in mind, this is the last gravel. Holy cow! This is the last gravel that we're ever going to throw into the black hole of resource that is the the palace of soviet so that's kind of fun at least that's very very fun uh, we've got what five five cranes on the job four of them are terror cranes so you know that's a it's a pretty pretty darn good level of uh, of construction over there do we have any more maz trucks that we can dispatch to to anywhere no what is this that is a dumper truck. That is a Maz dumper. Uh, yes, that's our first Maz dumper, I believe. Let's get all of these additional Maz trucks moved out to where we said that they were going to go. Back into these construction offices over here. These construction offices are all plumbed in as they should be. Gravel needs to be specified from... Uh, we can do here, I guess. Fine. Asphalt. We can do... We can do there. Workers. We don't need to pick up workers. We're already picking up concrete. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff indeed. Has the gravel been delivered? It's literally two loads away. Literally two loads from completion. So, let's watch these two loads come in. In fact, they're both they're both right here. In fact, I think it should be, it should be two loads. Yeah, one's 12 tons. The other will be 11 tons. Or, well, 12 tons. But it's rounded up to 12 uh, in here. There we go, 315 work days remaining, and it happens so darn quickly. This is one time speed, by the way. This is one time speed that this is happening in, so, so that is pretty darn good. And just like that, we're across the line. Okay, so the next stage, which is also a continuation of installing prefab panels, that is going to require 750 tons of concrete, uh, 735 tons of prefab panels, 183 tons of steel, 882 tons of bricks, and 294 tons of boards. Now, let's take a little look at the board situation. So the board situation was one of the losers in this whole one-way system scenario because the trucks that were taking the boards from the sawmill over to the open storage had to go all the way around this setup. So, I mean, look, we can... Probably we can probably just ditch that bit of one-way road right uh, right now So we ditch that we ditch that so we allow the truck to go up and down here and deliver more and more boards However, the good news is the very very good news is is that we've already got a bountiful number of, uh, of boards actually already in storage I mean, it's not tons, but it's about what is that about 500 tons in each and every in each and every storage area. So what we can just do is we can actually just reverse. So we're going to say, yep, so we're going to unload here. Uh, yeah, unload boards there if storage percentage is below 90. And then... Hold up. Have I... 
Have I done this on the wrong one? Have I done this on the wrong one? Where is... Where is the medium distribution office that deals with this? Okay, it's this one. Fine. Right, so unload. We don't want to unload. Instead, we want to flip it on over to load. Load, 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 load. All of these, all of these Doxky storages, please. Yep, thank you very much. Nice and easy. Load, load, load boards, load boards, load boards. And then the uh, Segador, Segadoria, yeah, whatever. We're going to unload the boards right here. And that is if storage percentage is below 90%. So that should immediately see, that should immediately see some trucks mobilized. Yeah, so where are, where are these offices actually? Ah, it's this one. Okay, it's the only one that I didn't click on during this entire operation. Okay, so that's fine. That's going to deal with that. Um, it'll hopefully allow us to get boards moved over there at some reasonable speed. In addition to what I've just, uh, in in addition to what I've just changed, that should all that should all work just fine. Now, I am actually looking for a singular Maz truck, a singular Maz open truck. If I was to be able to get a Maz truck, then that would make my day. I mean, can I just move one of these Maz trucks? Sure. I'm actually going to move one of these Maz trucks over to this depot right here. And therefore, I'm going to be able to add some orders to it. And I'm going to get you to pick up boards. I'm going to say load up at the sawmill. Uh, load up at the sawmill. Wait until unloaded boards. Go here. And then unload. And then wait until unloaded there. And in fact, cancel going to the depot. And instead, go straight to where you need to first operate. So that should allow us to move some boards slightly faster because at the moment there are a couple of vehicles that I think are concerned with this. Uh, the Maz, which we've just set up planning for. And then, yeah, so this guy, where is, where is this truck? This truck is on the long way around. The long way around, as I've already specified, that is because that is because of the one-way road. So he was one of the losers. He was the the biggest loser, in fact, of this uh, of this whole darn process. But that's fine. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, we should in fact be seeing a whole bunch of trucks mobilizing right now. Indeed, we are a whole bunch of trucks mobilizing that are presumably going to go and pick up yet yeah, bricks, uh, steel, everything. Everything, everything, everything. The good news is, is that I think we should be fine for bricks on this stage. Yeah, we only require 882 tons of bricks. And we've got plenty of bricks uh, that are actually in the open storage as is. And that's before we even uh, reverse the uh, reverse the flow, so to speak. Uh, and we uh, and we get the we get the mass trucks to take the to take the bricks back to the storage area here. So that's fine. Uh, I think that's that's not too shabby at all. I'm very, very much okay with that. Very, very, very much okay with that. Uh, yeah, we got loads and loads of trucks going out to the brick area. We've got a lot of trucks going to the concrete plant. In fact, we've got tons of trucks going to the concrete plant. I do wish, I do wish there was a, there was a way that I could perhaps get another concrete plant. Maybe squeeze another concrete plant in here. I feel like it would be possible. I feel like it definitely would be possible. Is it wise, though? Is it wise at this stage in the game? I mean, mm, there's no exit point on this side of the of the conveyor. Uh, and we do need gravel, and it does need to be it does need to be relayed via conveyor. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this does present somewhat of a problem because there's a lot of trucks that are waiting that are waiting just, you know, tailing back this whole uh, this whole distance, mostly entirely because Mostly entirely because of this concrete plant. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to rectify that without faffing around. Without faffing around with an additional concrete plant. To be honest, even if we were to get a road connection up to, like, here somewhere, so that we forced the traffic, we forced the, uh, we forced the cement mixers to come down this road in order to get actually into the, uh, into the concrete plant, that might be a, a step in the right direction. Maybe not a terrible idea. Maybe not a terrible idea at all. Mm, yeah, but to be honest, uh, you know the traffic is the traffic is almost entirely caused by the uh, by the concrete plant, and I think that that's a circumstance that I can live with. To be honest, that is a circumstance that I can absolutely live with. Right. So we've got this this Maz truck working very very hard to transport all of the logs from the sawmill right over to the open storage, and I think we should be I think we should be able to. 
I think we, we should be able to do this, actually. Yeah, I think we should absolutely be able to do this. The one thing that I could potentially do is I could put a cargo station. I put I, I could put a truck station in to either help with the 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 number of the number of boards being loaded slash unloaded. And look at this, the direct route, the direct route that is now being taken by these Maz trucks is very, very good, in fact. Yeah. You know, I think we'll be just fine. I mean, this thing carries 50 tons. This thing carries 50 tons of logs, not to mention all of the log trucks which we've got coming to uh, to drop off resources that we had previously taken down to the cold storage area. So that is that is totally, totally fine. Right, so now we just need to think about steel as well, and steel should... Steel should truthfully be the least of our problems. Uh, but steel is a slight problem, mostly because, mostly because, we've got a, we've got an issue here. Why are you not able to go? Because that's a chain signal. That is because that is indeed a chain signal. Uh, I mean, fine, we can just rectify this ever so swiftly. Does that need to be a chain signal? I have absolutely no idea. Let's just... Let's just remove all of the chain signals, right? Remove all the chain signals. You've got 712 tons of steel. You're going to take it to the open storage. That's totally fine. You've got no steel, but that's also okay. There we go. Let's get you through. And we'll allow all of these... All of these trucks to actually move. Yeah, I mean, this area needs a little bit of rework. But to be honest, given the... Given the frequency that trains are actually operating in this area, it's probably not really worth fixing probably not really worth fixing. And, you know, as much as this looks like a bit of a crazy tailback, it's actually not really. It's actually not really at all, because a good number of trucks are just going to be going over the hill here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry about it, dudes. It's fine. It's totally fine. You can head off down south as well. Uh, right, so this is this is another thing that I've been thinking about. I was briefly thinking during the intermission between episodes. We are going to need 800, 816 tons of electronic components. Now, at the moment, our electronic components are being produced at the factory right here, of which we don't have any plastics. A ah, bit of a pain in the backside because we need to we need to move plastics and we need to move chemicals in uh, in greater quantities, which I'll talk about in just a second. However. However, 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 this train right here is currently engaged in the selling of, well, mechanical components and also electronic components. The only issue is, the only issue is, is that I need these electronic components. I need these electronic components and we need to, we need to probably think about keeping them. Is it worth us? Is it worth us setting up like a cold storage for electronic components and mechanical components? Is that something that we really want to do? Is that really something that we want to do? I mean, it it could be. It definitely could be. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff already on this boat. I tell you what, look, go go sell this go sell this stuff. Go sell this stuff. And I tell you what I'm gonna do. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually just straight up going to disconnect this factory connection right there. It's a little bit it's a little bit basic. It doesn't involve any distribution, doesn't involve any of that nonsense. However, it does mean that as soon as the export train arrives, uh, none of the none of the goods are actually going to be exported on the boats. So the boats are now only going to export stuff that arrives at the open storage, and I don't even think that much stuff arrives at the open storage anyway. What do we got going on over here? There is a pump, a uh, pumping station that's on fire. That's totally fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Fine. That's gonna be that's gonna be rectified pretty much immediately. So chemicals, chemicals and plastics, chemicals and plastics, chemicals and plastics. You are engaged in chemical and plastic transport, Mr. Mr. Frida, Mr. Frida cargo ship. That is totally, totally fine. Uh, these trucks are also engaged in the movement of chemicals and plastics. That's fine with me, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think there are any issues here. Are we producing enough chemicals? That's the only question that I have here. That's the only question that I have. I don't think we are. That's the crazy thing. So I don't think that we're producing anywhere near enough chemicals. Because we need all of the chemicals for cargo production. Eh, for cargo production. For plastic production. Not to mention all of the chemicals that we need for, for nuclear production as well. So that's... That's... Oh, that's just so... That's uh, it's quite irritating. That's quite irritating. And given that we've also increased our number of people working at the refineries recently... 
that uh, that means that we've got a big old a big old worker shortage. Okay, what I can do is I can reduce the number of people that are actually working in the oil refineries and bump the number of people that are working in the chemical plants. So let's bump that up to like 23, 23, because refining refining oil into fuel and bitumen is just not a problem. It just isn't that in demand, really. We need uh, we need these chemicals. We need these chemicals as as, as fast as we possibly can get them. Uh, it might even be worth us. It might even be worth us thinking about a secondary a secondary rail network. This rail network is at a hundred percent capacity. Dare I say, even perhaps it's over capacity at this moment in time. Uh, we're certainly shifting a heck of a lot of bodies, uh, but I think that I think that even though we're shifting a lot of bodies, that's probably not enough. Yeah, it's probably not enough. Yeah, we've got three hundred and three hundred and well over the capacity of the next train that is arriving at the station. Uh, and the fact is, is that people are waiting almost an hour, which is not good. As a rule of thumb, you don't want people waiting an hour. You don't want people waiting an hour. Waiting an hour per... Waiting an hour on the station is, is just not good because that means that they despawn and they go do something else. And we don't want them to do something else. We want those people to... We want those people to be working for us. We want those people to be working for us, and so we probably want to see if we can try and fix that up. In saying that, however, in saying that, however, there's no reason not to just get down a couple of uh, of additional houses. I think that maybe I should just start with maybe I should just start like a Kobe a Kobe expansion over here, like just in this area. I know that I said I wanted to potentially save this area for greenhouses, although I think it's become probably fairly obvious that I don't need that. I don't need that at all. Let me stick down real quick uh, an equipment for citizens. That's right, an equipment for citizens device called a pollution monitoring system. Let's get that in place, and then that will allow us to view the pollution over here. And yep, okay, so there is no chance that we're going to build a city in this area because the pollution is telling me uh, the pollution is telling me that the people's life expectancies would be pretty darn low if indeed they were to work within this area. However, out with this area, over here, it's not a terrible idea. I mean, do I really want to commit to building a brand new, a brand new city right now? You know, so soon towards the, uh, towards the end of this game? I mean, the answer is kind of actually, because it's really, really, really flippin' important that I get, that I get this right, that I get chemical production right. Uh, so let's go into residential, shall we? Let's go and just throw down a couple of these prefabricated uh, flats. I do have the opportunity to build some people's palace flats. To be honest, maybe I should. Maybe I flippin' should. I haven't actually used them thus far in this series yet. And, uh, you know, the reason for doing that was because I, you know, they're nice. They're nice, but they're not, you know, they're not hugely, not hugely realistic. But I think we're going to zone... I think we're gonna zone four of them. Gonna zone four of them right in there. Uh, I've made a classic error here, a schoolboy error, if you'd like. Also, are we building these? We're, we, I don't. I, don't, I do not want to build these with my own with my own cash. No, sorry. No, 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 no. This is gonna be a uh, a mission a mission for the Department of Construction, not a mission for me. Right, four of those. Let's just get the required infrastructure. This isn't gonna be a very well, it's not a, it's a, a thought together, a thought up, a thought together, a thought together town. It's it's not going to be a very thought. There's not a lot of thought that's going to have gone into this town. Put it that way. Put it that way. It's just going to be, it's just literally going to be people to work at the chemical plants. Like, that's what I care about, right? That is absolutely what I care about. And so we're, we're going to try and, we're going to try and make that happen. Uh, give me a gymnasium, please. Uh, what is it? Sports playground. Yeah. It's always it's always a little bit always a little bit disconcerting, but that's fine. Uh, that a sports playground includes a gymnasium. I just don't I just don't get it, and it always takes me just a little a little second, you know, just to catch up to to where the game is. Right, schools as well. Schools are classified differently from kindergartens. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Right, totally fine. Right, so that goes over there. Excellent. Anything else that we need to get down for uh, for these people? I guess we should probably get a cinema, right? We should probably get a cinema. Probably get stuff like a fire station. Fire station over there. Hospital over here. You can probably see what I'm what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this design. Uh, cinema. Yep. Cinema. 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 Now, is a cinema gonna fit in here? 
I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's astounding. Right, so this needs to come right across here. Then we need to take a branch off there, and then that needs to go in there. And what do you know? That actually ends up working. Nice, 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 nice. So we're going to build this massive central road. Then the rest of these structures are going to be just built as and when, really, the, uh, the, video game, the video game has time to do such a thing. But there's no, you know, there's no real particular rush. There's room for expansion down here. And the, the magnum opus of the operation, that's okay, that's totally fine. The magnum opus of the operation is going to be a regular train platform, which is going to occupy this slot over here. I'm gonna build a nice footpath right through the center there. And that is going to absolutely be able to access all of the all of the different houses right over in this vicinity. I guess I can build the the paths. That's that's no big deal whatsoever. And then this is exclusively going to try and supply... Hopefully, it's going to exclusively supply the chemical plants. Because, again, that's exactly what I'm after. Also, I should point out that it might be entirely possible for me to fill all of these flats with just the overflow populations from around the map. You know, Kolgradsky, uh, you know, Kobe, Potato Red, all of the overflow populations are, are huge. Absolutely gargantuan. And therefore, we'll uh, we'll probably be able to we'll probably be able to do that. Now, this is a little bit of a trapped, yeah, a bit of a trapped uh, thingamabobber. That's right, thingamabobber is exactly the term that I was looking for there. Just kidding, it absolutely wasn't. However, that doesn't particularly matter. Throw the train platform small down over there. We'll use concrete railway because I mean now I can afford concrete railway, right? Any chance that we're going to be able to bridge over here? I would describe the chance of being able to cross over this specific bit of... Oh. All right. Well, that changes everything, really, doesn't it? How is that too sharp of a turn? I, I really... Sometimes, video game, the calculations that you do in order to calculate turns is... It's magnificent. It really is. It really is magnificent. Okay. <laughs> All right. How how committed I am, am I to this crossing point right here? I I'm not very committed to it. However, I feel like I feel like I've done it now. You know, I've got to I've got to stick with it. Oh, this is <laughs> what a rot what a rotten place. What a rotten place to put a station. What a rotten angle for a station, eh? Ditch that. Try again. Just a train platform small. Ditch these stupid little bits of road that I somehow managed to uh, manage to fit in there. Right, that'll work nice and perfectly. Excellent, 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 excellent. And then we're literally just going to link this up over here. Goodness gracious me, video game. You really don't like it. You really don't like it when I build when I build long railway lines, do you? The, the frame rate crawls. It really does. Right, it's not the most direct. It's not the most pretty. It's literally here to bolster our our workforce in uh, in uh, in Refinovsky or Chemgrad. Also, I should point out that the reason why I didn't do it, I didn't do this in Kobe. I mean, I could have expanded Kobe, and maybe that would have been the correct thing to do. However, 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 Kobe is kind of hemmed in. It's hemmed in by this river over here, which I could definitely, you know, get rid of. And if I was going to expand, this would be the area that I would do it. However, this area is really, really messy. This area is right next to a border, and you don't really want to, in my experience, faff around too much with, like, where you can build and where you can't build along the border, because it may look like a little bit of a solid line, but it, it's not really a solid line. It's more of a, you know, sometimes you're able to build outside the border, other times you're able to build inside the border. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I came to this realization when I was playing Workers and Resources Soviet Republic over on uh, over on Twitch. That's right. Go follow go follow me. Twitch.tv forward slash open to potato. Pause the video, go right now, go do it, and then come back here and then and then listen to me listen to me chat for another forty minutes. That's right, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, folks. I'm waiting for you. Go go follow. Go follow over there. That's right. Go do it right now. Uh, okay, build those railways because we're never going to do that. Have you have you gone and done it? Good. Congratulations. Very good of you. Thank you very much. You have my gratitude. Uh, yes, anyway. Uh, you know, the border is a very... 
you know, it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting concept. Very, very interesting concept. Right, so with that, we will zone that. That's cool. Again, this is probably not going to be built for a, for a little while, but totally fine. Okay, where do I want to connect you up to? Probably over here somewhere. I suspect that this is still going to be within range of the construction office. It's kind of what I'm banking on, really. It's probably going to take quite a while to actually get built. Okay, you are up to 3,000 meters. You're being built right now. So as I say, Central Road is going to get built, and then everything else around is going to uh, is going to hopefully get built too. We'll build the we'll build the train platform. That's totally fine. All right, great. So with that, we should be able to bolster the number of people that we have working in our chemical plants a lot. As I say, these things only produce five tons of chemicals a day, and that's at max production, and this thing eats ten tons of chemicals when it's got, you know, a full complement of workers. Obviously, it doesn't have a full complement of workers at the moment, but we still need chemicals. We still need chemicals for our, uh, for our uranium processing area, so that needs to get done. Cool. So that is going to occur in the background. Nothing... Nothing else, I believe, needs to be supplied over here. I think we've got all of the materials. We've got everything, really, that we need. I just want to make sure that everything is going to be auto-assigned as soon as this as soon as this bit of road is finished up here. And we could build this bit of road, by the way, but uh, but no real need to. Right. So add that, add that, add that, add that. I suspect that it'll auto-find anyway, but. You know, just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side, I will I will assign manually. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What else have we got to do? Uh well, the tanker. Oh yes, you sold you sold a good a good amount of a good amount of stuff at the border. That's very, very nice indeed. How much fuel do we have in waiting? Three thousand eight hundred three thousand eight hundred tons? That's not not an incredible amount, really, but that's because we've run out of oil. That's kind of crazy to think, but we have actually run out of oil. I'm going to send the Frida back to the other side of the map, and I'm actually going to say, don't... Uh, yeah, no, wait until unloaded, but don't actually wait until loaded, because we need to get more resources delivered more consistently. Yeah, so that's pretty important to do. Right, so that's Kobe. That's Kobe kind of sorted. I think that will be... That'll be us. Uh, that'll be us over here, at least for now. It's gonna take. It's just gonna take a while. It's just gonna take a while for this area to get built. But that's fine. It can sort of. Uh, it can sort of happen in the background. Look at all these boats that we've got going on. Also, I should have. Uh, I should have noted how. How are we doing? How are we doing on this? Uh, on this bridge? I mean, not great because we haven't really been building it, given that we breached the connection. We broke the connection. We broke the connection between this line right over here and the main line here so this connection no longer exists i'm fine with that i'm actually totally fine with that I, look you know forget about that bridge it's not a big deal it's not important whatsoever right how are we looking actually not uh, not too bad not too bad at all uh the one thing the one thing that i could change although it doesn't really seem to be making too much of a difference right now is that I could swap I could swap the directionality of these one-way roads but because they I mean they, but they have to simplify down into one one-way road anyway so it's not like it really matters the one thing that was uh, the one thing that was said is that you know trucks drive on the right however the the you know the the road to get back to potato grad is is on the left and so there needs to be crossover and when there's crossover there's a little bit of awkwardness that is something that i thought about at the time actually but you know again that's okay that's actually okay it's actually that's actually remarkably okay i think well maybe we should reverse maybe we should reverse the uh the directionality of the roads a little bit and then i just bridge across and then bridge down yeah maybe i do that Maybe I actually do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I am absolutely going to do that. However, in saying that, in saying that, it's not really the... It's not really important how quickly the resources arrive. Because the resources are arriving 
pretty pretty quickly to be honest pretty darn quickly here's a question here's 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 here's, here's a question am i able to have this is a one-way road a one-way road cannot end in the building but this is allowed to be a one-way road so are they able to exit up here because if that's the case then that that would be kind of cool right that would be very very cool if that was the case where are you coming from potato grad bus platform to potato grad bus platform two to potato grad bus platform one. Oh yes that's uh a bit of a janky route let's ditch this one-way road right here see if that makes a difference okay cool and then as soon as this bridge has sort of calmed down a little bit we will uh we will bridge over to here and then down to this connection and then we'll reverse both of these both of these one-way roads yeah so i've just fixed i've just fixed your route so it's not completely garbage okay but that's one of the that's one of the only remaining vehicles i think that you know the vehicles that have to go from here to here that are actually affected so that's that's not too bad that's not too bad at all and in fact to be fair we could actually just we could actually just straight up fix your route by sticking in sticking in a connection like so and that would that would straight up just mean that you don't have to cross the tracks at all which is a huge benefit actually that's a really really big benefit if that's the case yeah all right nice 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 and as i say the traffic jam's not too bad it's not really interfering with anything because it's on the bespoke bridge uh, the traffic jam down the main promenade, the main industry grad promenade, is actually okay. There's nothing there at all anymore. Right, you are completely lost. You are completely lost. This is kind of what I was worried about. Um, yeah. I think most trucks have got it, but it's just this truck who clearly hasn't got the memo yet. Ah, it's good though it's good it's it's nice it, it works to a degree i guess okay let's cancel this one-way road and then i'll see if i can reinstitute it again because that would be that would be quite cool if that would uh if that would actually work there we go all right again no worries if it doesn't it would just be a nice uh, a nice little bonus if it did cool all right, how many resources have we actually got? Wow, we're actually almost... We're actually almost there. Holy cow. I mean, this... Well, clearly the road network is... Is working. I mean, this is really, really good. I'm also absolutely astounded at the fact that I was able to even make this work. Like, we've got the resources to do this, and we've done it. We've actually done it. How are we, how are we doing for prefab panels? We're fine for prefab panels, actually. We're totally, totally fine for prefab panels. I suspect that our steel production has taken a little bit of a hit. Also, this is this is not good. This bridge is uh, this janky bridge. This janky bridge needs to be fixed. This, this janky bridge definitely needs to be fixed or doubled up. Maybe we need to get a double janky bridge. Do we need to get a double janky bridge? Is this is this a thing? Is this a thing that you're telling me to do right now, chat? I think this might be this might be a thing. Should we double the jank? Should we double? Can we double the jank? Is it even possible for us to do with relative ease? I mean, you know what they say. Double jank equals something. I don't know. So I guess I don't actually know what they say. I've completely disproved that I know what they say. I don't even know who they are, frankly. Right, let's try and run this kind of parallel, I guess. And I'm gonna try and purposefully build it in smaller sections now. That's right. Purposefully building it in smaller sections so that more trucks... Uh, more trucks. So that more trains can actually operate on it at, uh, at once. Now, this is actually quite an important area because... This needs to be quite elevated because of this little lip here there we go yeah ah well we managed to we managed to navigate it anyway just fine all right so lots and lots of little bits for this bridge makes a big difference i think okay again slideshow mode as soon as as soon as this happens but that's totally fine all right there we go wonderful and we will just merge in to 
the track over here. Excellent. Four and a, four and a bit million. I mean, that's fine. It's a price that I'm perfectly willing to pay. Absolutely A-OK -okay with me. And, I mean, we don't even need to have this... We don't even need to have this connection passed here. It's completely unnecessary. But, that's fine. Uh, let's take this back. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to see if I can try and merge them together right here. There we go. There we go. There we go. And... There we go. Excellent. Alright, wonderful. So now it's cheat... Uh, now it's treated like a proper... A proper chain signal. I'm gonna just go and stick in a signal at every stage here to make sure that... Can I put this over here? No. Sometimes you just gotta guess. You gotta guess where the game wants you to put the cursor. This is one of those occasions. Either way, this, this second janky bridge that I've built, I actually prefer over the first one. It looks a little bit less janky, but to be honest, that's because, you know, it's been refined from the first jank version. This is like jank version V2. Jank version V2, electric boogaloo. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent indeed. And that goes in right over there. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. And in fact, we've already got our first train on uh, on the bridge, which is wonderful. Okay, so now we've effectively doubled the capacity back. We should have no trains waiting around here. Great, that's really, really good. Because that leads very, very nicely into the next, the next thing that I want to do. And that is to try, to try, to try, to try, and get some more vehicles up and running. Have I got any vehicles in the train depot? No. I do, however, have a Kestrel. Now, I've got a Kestrel ready to rock and roll. However, I kind of want the Kestrel to be to be running on the steel mill supply routes. Yeah. So at the moment we've got three trains in the steel mill, so that's fine. I've got these five, I've got these five DRV class 100s or whatever. I did say that I was perhaps going to not use them. However, I think I am actually going to use them. And I'm going to use them on the on the old line, i.e. the line that still has the janky bridge on and the line that still has got the tunnels on. Because these trains don't need to go at, you know, a super, super high speed. They can actually just chill out and go at a, a slightly slower speed because the vast majority of our, I guess, traditional, traditional original rail track is built with is built with wooden wooden rails, right? So the, the max speed is is much, 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 much less. Also, have we has this been built? Like what what the heck has happened here? Let's just just build it. Just just build this. Just build that. I mean if there's a fire here then we can hopefully figure out a way around it, but that's fine. Still with uh, whatever it is, ten million rubles in the bank, which is which is pretty darn good. We've got okay, we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff going on. So Okay, the Kestrel is gonna always be at the top. Oh, that's an that's that's an irritating situation. That's fine though. Go into cargo wagons and just buy a whole bunch of a whole bunch of these hopper cars. The order at which these trains are getting hopper cars confuses the heck out of me. How did it go three, one, four, two, three? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't wanna know. It doesn't particularly matter to me. Hey, look, we end up getting all five trains with uh, with the appropriate with the appropriate resources, so that's great. Okay, now give me the list of lines. Let me go to train lines, and what I want to do, Kolgransky train aggregate unloading. Is this the train that loads coal ore? Sorry, iron ore. Yes, it is indeed. Okay, so let's get two additional two additional trains on this line. Tell a lie. Three additional trains on the line. And let's get them all dispatched right now. Oh, well, I say right now. As quickly as we possibly can. Uh, this is a totally fine depot to launch them from because there is still a connection to the old line from the from the new line, so to speak. There's a fire. It's at a prefab flat in Potato Grad. I'm going to assume that it's going to be totally fine. 
famous last words. Potato, as ever. Where the heck are you coming from? Where the... Why the heck do we have... Okay, I have no idea how that happens, but okay, fine. Train platform, uh, that's almost certainly something that we need to look at personally. I'll return to this in just a second. Where did it say it was? Ah, yes, it was right here. Is there a... Yeah, there is totally, in fact, a road connection and also a... Also a, uh, a footpath connection. Cool. All right, so next I want to go into list of lines. I want to have a little look at... No, not this custom line. I want to have a look at... What is it? This... Aggregate loading. Is this the one that I'm looking for? This is actually the one that I'm looking for. Okay, so this is the line that deals with coal ore loading. So I'm going to stick two additional trains on this line. And then we will dispatch the last train as soon as that train is, is out of the area. So basically what we've done is we've increased the number of trains that are going to be picking up coal ore and iron ore. And so this is going to hopefully lead to more coal ore and iron ore being processed. Uh, and then this is just going to feed into the system. The reason that this is important, the reason that this is somewhat important, I say somewhat important, it's very important. Uh, we need to get more and more... I tell you what, have I finished the stage of production? I... I've only gone and finished the blooming stage of production. How the heck did that happen? Oh, my giddy aunt. Okay, well, video game. I'm really sorry to have to do this, but I'm actually going to have to suspend production because I want to make the amendment to the road right now. Uh, however, holy cow, that just goes to show how unbelievably quickly we were able to we were able to build that stage. That was that was really, really very, very good. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll return to the palace of, uh, of Soviet in just a second. However, what I was going to say, what I was going to say, it's really important now more than ever that we get more iron ore and coal ore delivered to this area not really for the steel the steel is the steel's in an okay place like we're, we're fine for steel we're absolutely okay for steel we obviously need as much steel as we can possibly get but you know we're getting to that point where we're probably going to be okay in terms of steel you know we need 5,300 tons of steel we've probably got we've probably got 2,500 tons of steel and you know more steel to be produced before before that time before that time that we actually need to use all of it the reason that we need refined coal is because that feeds into our cement production. Cement production slowly being decreasing, uh, and coal is, is a required component of that. Uh, and also brick production as well. So there's an increased draw at the moment on our, on our coal production. Uh, you know, this is a great reason as to why we need to get rid of the coal burning power plants. So the fact that we've done that is, is frankly, is frankly very, very good. Uh, very, very good indeed. Okay, so let's see if I can faff around with one-way roads one more time so let's reverse the flow of all of this let's reverse the flow of all of that and let's reverse the flow of all of this and put that in there excellent fine whatever and then what we do is we ditch this bit of road we ditch that bit of road we return to this type of bridge i bet you anything that i'm not going to be able to not going to be able to do this without the elimination of wires. Okay, build a beam bridge. Ah, build a beam bridge. A beam bridge seems totally, totally fine. Can't build you to infrastructure below. Kind of was hoping to avoid that whole message video game, perhaps. Mm, yeah, that's, that's the vibe that I'm feeling right now. I'm not feeling a real positive vibe, to be honest. Not feeling the positive vibe at all. Can't build you to infrastructure below. All right, let's, let's, uh, what? Oh. Okay, let's take a slightly more active approach here. Yes. Hill is causing obstruction. That's actually fine. That's actually totally fine. Yes. Very good. Very good. And then we come down and we merge. Come on, video game. You can do this. You can do this. It's the most epic descent of all time. That's not done with a bridge. There's a lot of epic descents that we have that are actually done with bridges. But uh, but this isn't going to be done with a bridge. And it's done it. It's it's done. It's, it's done. It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, this is all going to be one way. I mean, it's going to be 
it's gonna be implied that it's one-way road anyway, frankly, so that's fine. All right, let's uh, let's run this. Let's run this through the the computer algorithm. See if this works. All right, sides are too steep, but you will manage to do that. All right, and if I take this back, no doubt you'll be able to do this too. You are able to do this too. Excellent. Build all of that. I don't even know how much that uh, how much that ended up costing, but that's totally fine. Excellent. 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 Yes, this is a finished road. Okay, all right, there we go. Fine. All right, so let's see if this actually let's see if this actually works. Let's uh, let's return this to production. Excellent. All right, so all of the trucks should be should be mobilizing right now, or perhaps they're just not going to be mobilizing. Oh, for God, just, I always do. I always do this. I always do this. I always. <laughs> I always break a power connection. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely easily going to remember to replace that. And yet here we are, me not replacing it. Me not remembering to replace it. I I just wish, I wish power cables didn't actually, you know, exist. IRL. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how much of a benefit that would be? It would be kind of huge. It would be kind of very huge. Our fueling setup leaves leaves quite a lot to be desired, to be honest. In saying that, in saying that, it only needs to be done on occasion, so therefore I'm not really overly concerned about the fuel situation, but that's fine. Uh, right, so we've got all of our trains dispatched from here. We need the we need the Kestrel to do Kestrel things. However, the Kestrel can't actually can't actually do anything yet because we've already got we've already got enough trains on this uh, on this route actually. Yeah, we cannot store or export steel. I mean, that is like the worst, the worst thing to hear. Just the worst, just the worst. I mean, what do we actually need steel for? We we need steel, we need steel over in the palace. We need steel over in the palace. What about we? What about we do some steel movement? What do we need? Two thousand, two thousand eight hundred, two thousand eight hundred tons of steel. I mean. Don't get me wrong, folks. There's going to be a lot of steel movement over the course of this uh, over the course of this phase. This is the big one, by the way, or it's you know half of the big one. Half of the remaining resources that we need to pour into the building are going to be poured in right now. So it's very very important that we get this that we get this right. All right, lots and lots of concrete delays as ever. Yeah, yeah. We still need like three thousand tons of concrete to be to be moved in here. Yeah, if I had to do this again, it would probably be, it would probably be a slightly different route in order to get to the concrete, uh, to, to get to the concrete factory, the concrete plant. But as it stands, probably not going to interfere too, too much. Right, we're drawing down on our cement supplies, but we've got plenty of supplies uh, actually at the plant properly. So I'm not going to concern myself with that too, too much. Also, the number of trucks that we have, the number of concrete mixers that we have is very finite. So there can only be a delay for a, a little bit. It's kind of like a naturally timed delay, you know? All right, but so far, so good. No, no congestion, no congestion in the area. But I would not really anticipate any congestion until we've seen all of these steel trucks go and try to pick up steel. Also, some bricks. Everyone's after a couple of bricks right now. But again, I'm not really overly worried about bricks. The bricks, bricks prefab panels will be fine. Steel, we're probably going to be fine as well. Uh, wood, we're definitely going to be fine. I mean, look at this. We're we're drawing down on our wood supply, but you know we're able to we're able to do we're able to do this this no bother whatsoever. Uh, the only thing is, I don't have that many people working at the wood cutting post. Don't have that many people working at the wood cutting post. Uh, we're at max. We've uh, we've got as many vehicles as we can over here. I only have one woodcutting post, which is which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, but that's fine, I think. Yeah, I mean we could get a could get a second woodcutting post and start faffing around with this area again, but I don't really think it's that. I don't really think it's that worthwhile, unless. Unless video game, unless you were feeling really good and just allowed me to do a direct connection right over here. I, yeah, I don't think, I don't think you're feeling good today. I don't think you're feeling good today. I mean, it would be, it'd be real nice if we could do it. However, 
we'd still need to we'd still need to get people we'd still need to get people moved over to this woodcutting post as well and you know we faffed around with this in like episode one of the original series i don't really feel like we need to return to cable cars anytime soon i think we're just gonna have to i think we're just gonna have to rely on the you know the occasional bit of wood being moved from the sawmill down to the open storage and then the rest of the wood we're just gonna have to draw out of cold storage how much wood do we actually have in cold storage just gonna have a little look Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty. We've got 345 tons or thereabouts in uh, in each and every one of these places. Uh, so, export, export, export wise. How are we doing over here? 153 tons on the train. 153 tons of mechanical components and 89 tons of electronic components in the warehouse and 196 actually in the warehouse. Now, Electronic components I would rate as probably being the most challenging aspect of this stage to acquire. We've got 22 tons already here. And we only require 400 tons. However, we're going to we're going to require more, I suspect. We're going to require more. Uh this area is looking good, by the way. This uh this area is looking looking not too bad at all. Am I able to make I'm able to make a slight amendment here. All right. Hold up. Hold up one second here, folks. I think... I think I'm going to try... I think I'm going to try some. Try building this. And then try one wayifying this entire road. Oh, I need to apply it to finish roads. Whatever. Right. Try that. Try that. So then, instead of having to merge into one lane... We can actually have this as, as two lanes the entire way. Not like it particularly matters, but uh, but there we go. We'll give it a shot. Doesn't really seem to make much of a difference at the moment. However, it will make a difference at some point once we uh, once once all the trucks do the the recalculation thing. They do a route recalculation. What are we what are we in need of? Prefab panels. Two thousand eight hundred tons of prefab panels. I mean, this is the big one, right? This is the big one. This is the this is the biggest stage that we've got so far. This is the biggest stage we've got so far. Uh, you are on 3,000, and you're not able to... You're not able to assist... You're not able to assist in the construction of the palace? You are able to con uh, assist in the construction of the palace. However, you're just not picking up concrete, apparently, because maybe you're just not needed or something? I, I don't even know. Either way, everything looks good, and it'll look even better once this little backlog is finished. And we don't need to concern ourselves with that anymore. Yeah. And so then there's going to be, like, no traffic coming in. No traffic coming in that... So, yeah, this this road right here. No traffic coming in on this road. So this road is just going to feed right back and take take all of the vehicles back to uh, back to exactly where they need to go. This, this road is... I was going to say kind of a bit of a useless road. However, in saying that... It's it's a little bit of extra supply. I mean, this was the this was the nuclear road, if you can if you can recall, because I didn't want to, I didn't want people in Potato Grad ha having to experience a, a nuclear a nuclear convoy every three minutes or so. But as it turns out, now we're able to now we're able to use it as a road to transport, well, electronic components. I think primarily. Is it really necessary? Probably not. We can probably just about probably just about deal with uh deal with it otherwise but it gives us a secondary point of uh, of entry actually which is quite good that's actually quite efficient yeah that's uh that's actually that's actually not terrible right but the electronic components genuinely is uh is what's worrying me here we're missing chemicals now for for the production that's that's a bummer that's a real 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 bummer okay <sighs> yeah what do we got? Wait until unloaded. You are fully unloaded, though. You are fully unloaded. You unloaded fully. Oh, God. There's nothing in you. There's nothing in you. Okay. I think this boat has, has borked again, uh, which is a bit of a shame because we really need this boat to work. We really, really, really need it to work. We really can't afford to have any issues here. 
Got prefab panels waiting for pickup over there. We got chemicals, plastics. Where are the plastics being taken to? Oh, yes, we're exporting plastics, aren't we? Yeah, we need to stop doing that. We need to stop doing that right now. We need to stop doing that right now. Okay, unload. If storage warehouse is above 50%. Load if the storage is above 90%. Load if the storage is above 90%. We don't wanna we don't wanna faff around. We don't wanna sell plastics if uh, if we're not quite there yet. But how are we doing chemical wise? Eh, we're doing a little bit better chemical wise. How are we doing in our brand new area? Is concrete the problem? Concrete and gravel are two of the problem the problematic materials. What do we got? That will certainly be put out by a fire engine, right? Do we have do we have people? Right, hire some workers. Oh, we've already got we've already got people there. I don't even know why I bothered. Fine. All right, the buses that we the buses that we had clearly delivered enough people. That's totally fine. Right. I mean, I think we need to I think we need to try and accelerate the construction over at Kobe. That's looking good. We need to accelerate the construction of all of the houses over at Kobe. Because this is this is not good. We need we need 100%. We need 100% people working in the chemical plants. In saying that, though, we're not far off. We're definitely not far off. Definitely, definitely, definitely not far off. And there is a lot of work that's being done right now. Yeah. Okay, tell you what, why don't I try and build... Why don't I try and build, like, all of the amenity buildings and a couple of the additional roads? There's no reason not to, right? I mean, we are filthy rich... We're filthy rich. Nothing can derail us now. We're building the most glorious palace slash monuments that the world has ever seen. I don't want to say I don't want to say we're untouchable, but we are basically untouchable, right? Right. You know what? Just build just build the whole darn thing. Build the whole darn thing. Build the whole darn thing. Build this thing right here. I even I even built that with dollars entirely accidentally. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's uh, let's see if this works. Oh, I was also going to build a university over here. I tell you what, video game. You can build a university. How about that? How about that? Equipment for citizens. Technical university. I tell you what, I haven't built a medical university yet. Oh, no, I have built a medical university. I've, I've built every type of university. I got excited for a second there. I thought, oh, maybe here's, here's something that I can do that's not been done. But no. It's, it's already been done. Right. Build that, and then just let the video game build the, the medical university. That's fine. That is totally fine. Now, we need to get a power supply over here, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, there is a splitter, a transformer over here. And to be honest, I think we actually literally need one... We need quite literally one singular... One singular power thingamabobber substation. It's the term that I was looking for. Power thingamabobber also kinda kinda conveys what I what I'm looking to what I'm looking to express. Power thingamabobber. That's exactly it. Hey, the power thingamabobber. You know, if ever if ever you don't know what something's called, you know, just just throw in a thingamabobber. Just that's it's totally fine. Totally fine. Right, wonderful, looking good. Is the entire area powered now? I suspect it probably is. It absolutely is. Brilliant. So now we just need to get a couple of extra people moved across, which is very, very cool indeed. I mean, this is good. This is very, very good, and it means that we're going to be at 100% chemical production the whole darn time. Also, are we a little bit low on crops? Are we a little bit low on crops? I think we might actually be somewhat low on crops, but that's fine. Okay. Two things that I need to do. Two things that I need to do. The first thing that I need to do is get an effective little bit of crossover over here. And then I need to get a little bit of crossover at the end. Again, there is going to be a lot of people. There is going to be a lot of people that are working in this area. A lot of people working in the area. Okay. Ugh. 
It's too short a distance. It's too short a distance. You couldn't make it up. I should have learnt my lesson. I should have learnt my lesson. Place the... Place the signals first, Potato. Just place the signals first, because the signals determine exactly how much fun you're going to have on any given project. Hey, It's possible. It's possible with the current signal layout. Lovely. Great. Fantastic. Happy days. Truly. Truly happy days. Uh, not so down here. We need to redo this area as well. There we go. Crossover. Crossover. Nice. Okay. That needs to be doubled up. Don't know why that's single. For some silly reason. Another building is on fire. Just your average day, to be honest. There we go. Okay, that's looking not too bad. Right, it's a 21-story flat in Kolgradsky. It's probably going to be extinguished. Fire truck is called and is headed to the fire. Uh, yeah, it's just down here, right? Uh, sorry, just down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, little bit of a long, little bit of a long route to get there, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely a okay. It looks like, by the way, it looks like for the most part, our modifications to the number of trains that we have on the line seems to be working. We can take a little look in just a second. However, I want to make sure that we get this, we get this area set up and uh, and all working entirely as it should be. I'm going to come to regret the placement of that building. I guarantee you at some point. What the heck is that? That is not a maneuver that is recognized as uh, as doable. That's right. I will have you know that I was educated at the School of Life. The School of Hard Knocks. That's right. I said it. Every... Uh, Every Facebook mum's, every Facebook mum's educational background. School of Hard Knocks. That's right. School of Life. Right. Fire truck was called and is headed to the area. Yeah, we're probably going to be fine over there too. Great. Uh, hold up. Do I have... I do have workers over here. Well, I've got workers at one of the fire stations. The other fire station has no fire trucks. So I'm guessing that the fire truck that's been dispatched over to this, uh, to this pumping station, it is indeed... It is indeed fine. Great. Okay, great. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. You can never be too careful with some fires, you know? Right. So, let's see if we can throw together a train. Just a... Oh, in fact, let's say what. We'll, um, we'll electrify this track, shall we? Yeah, that seems like a sensible idea, doesn't it? Given the... Given the... Oh. Hold up. Yeah, given the issues that we've had with, uh, with diesel trains on short tracks before, we might as well... Might as well just electrify the entire... The entire journey. There we go. Thank you, video game, for that autosave just at that moment. Okay. Nice. And back to there. Back to there. Is this is this even gonna work once we get it all plumbed in? I oof, I'm unconvinced that this is gonna work. I should have just built it out of... I should have just built it out of... Uh, out of electric cabling in the first instance. I didn't, because I thought, hey, this is... <laughs> this is just my... This is just my best track. I thought concrete was my best track, but no. Not true. Okay, good, 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 good. So get this all fixed up, get this all fixed up. There we go. What do you know? It's wonderful. Excellent. Is that all good? We're all good? We're all good on that front? Great. Right, so next next thing that I'm after. Demolish. A little bit of a hole there. Give me a railroad electric connection. I still need to get used to the size of these things. Perfect. Build that. Build that. Build that, and build that as well. Right. So, a final, 
a final connection at some point. Uh, probably just over to... Probably just over to that open slot. Yeah, we'll see if we can try and get it to this open connection over here. I have no idea. No idea if that's gonna if that's gonna work. I'll tell you what I will do. I will just delete that and replace it with a slightly higher voltage cable. And hopefully that electrifies the entirety of the track. With the exception of like one tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, it does indeed. Uh, so that is what what bit is what bit needs to be electrified? What this bit here? That bit right there. Wow, that was a I would not have caught that. Well, I did catch it, but you get the picture. That was that was a that was a toughie. That one. Okay, let's go. Electric locomotive DR class two four three. Let's get it. Passenger wagons. Uh, the most expensive one, please. In fact, no. Give me the least expensive one. And let's get. Uh, that's uh, far too many. Far, 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 far too many. This 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 is not meant to be. This is not meant to be a a long train. In fact, two train two train carriages is totally fine. That might even be too short. That might even be too too short for the, or might even be too long for the number of train carriages that we can fit in this area. But you know what? We'll we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Goodness gracious me. Okay, so right there, to right here. Excellent. First stop is unreachable. Oh god, of course. Of course, Chemgrad first, and then back here. And it's still unreachable. They're both Cambridge train station. Okay, go there. Then go there. Well, hey, finally. Okay, so will that work? Will it all work? Will it all work fine? That's great. So, now what we want to do is we want to see if we can try and slot this into there. Just like so. Excellent. And you are completely lost. So, it turns out that I was hopelessly right. Hopelessly correct. In the most irritating, in the most irritating way. Right. So, turns out it is actually too short. Who the heck knew? Well, I did. I did deep down. I did know. Okay, so this is going to further make it a little bit more inefficient video game. Come on. That needs to be a chain signal. Cool. There we go. You're able to get out with ease. Excellent. Bish, bash, bosh. And you know what? Just before you get to, just before you get to the end over here, we're gonna address this area too, because this area is almost certainly too short as well. So we'll move it much further back to make it a heck of a lot easier. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. You're gonna get lost, but you're gonna find yourself again. Love when that happens. Love, 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 love when that happens. Right. So we need to find a way. We need to find a way to get a. In fact, I was waiting to say a footpath connection from here to here, but it might even be possible for us to just move a footpath around the front here. Over to there. And then, like, over to here? That might even be within range. That's so perfect. That's so unbelievably perfect that it actually works. Right, I'm going to specify that I only want you guys working at the chemical plants. We have no time for for anyone else. Okay, great. So within within the course of uh, within the course of half an episode, really, we've been able to throw together very very roughly a a city, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna grab what three, four prefab flats, and I'm gonna just move the people into yeah, gonna move the people into the brand new town that we've created. I don't even have I don't even have a name for this town. How, how crazy is that? How crazy is that? All right, so, by the way, these people's palace flats, I should have clarified at the very start, they can hold, like, a gazillion people. So watch how many buildings I'm able to empty. So these uh, prefab flats in Potato Grad hold 314 people, and we've managed to get two and a half into one of these people's, people's palace things. So, yeah, they hold 840. 840. So that's very, 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 very incredible. All right, and then all of these, all of these flats, I think, should be replenished. In fact, I'm just going to watch just to see if they do indeed get replenished to the max, because the number of people, the number of people that we have, 
living with their parents in Potato Grad is, is quite astounding, actually. It's something like 2,000, I think, the last time that I checked. Why don't I have a little, a little gander back across to Potato Grad? I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Where's Potato Grad? It's here. Right. Right, 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 right. Where's the... Here it is. Accounting office. Ah, it's now reduced down to uh, down to 900 and something. So, yeah, we're still going to be able to probably fill all of these flats back up. Which is great. Which is totally perfect. Look at that. Look at that. And they're all 100% educated as well. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. The one-way road network seems to be working as it should. We... I mean, look at this. Look at... Look at this. Look at this. We are actually legitimately building this structure. That's kind of crazy. That is absolutely crazy. As I suspected, electronic components does seem to be the main issue. Does seem to be the main issue. Far and away, the biggest problem that we're running into is lack of electronic components. Did I see a fire, by the way? It's a fire over here. Uh, we're probably going to be fine. Although in saying that, ah, yeah, there's a, there's a truck already en route. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. That's totally fine. Have we got a load of people? We don't have any people. We don't have any people. Number of passengers waiting. Well, we're not we're not going to allow passengers to stay here. That's that's a big no no. That is a big 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 no no. Oh, that's that's not great. No food, no meat. Well, we've got food. We've got meat. We need to get this linked up to the food delivery network. So let's have a little look see. Oh, we also need to get a pub. Kobe Medium Distribution Office. This is the one that deals with food, doesn't it? It does. So let's just get that linked up. Sure. Whenever this is less than 90%, please, we'll deliver absolutely everything that we have in store. There we go. Wonderful, 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 wonderful stuff. That does indeed seem to be working. Uh, you're moving prefab panels. You're not moving chemicals or plastics, irritatingly. But that's fine. Have we got any workers? We've got no workers. We've got no workers waiting. Three workers without a job. Uh, nobody should have. Nobody should have no job. Nobody should have no job? That doesn't make sense. Doesn't even, doesn't even make close to sense. I mean, we are able to access the station. So that's not the problem. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to remove all of these all of these places to go. Because then I think that the game might allocate some people from this brand new area to the chemical factories and that would be kind of my preferred my preferred option. Or I might just be completely wrong and I've just built a Massive city for nothing. I say massive city. It's not massive, not by any means, but holy cow, we got a lot of doctors. Buy a couple of ambulances. Buy a couple of fire engines. There we go. The best of the best. Well, I mean, look, I've created a paradise. If nobody actually has to do any work, other than the people that are working in, like, the shop, the kindergarten, and the school, and the cinema, then I guess we're good. I guess we're totally fine, right? I guess we are, we're totally, totally fine. Electronics, no pub. Yeah, there is no pub. That's a bit of a, a bit of a bummer. And also, sport seems to be in quite high demand. And also, there's no workers. But I suspect that that might, in fact, partly be due to the due to the due to the fact that I've just sort of uprooted them all instantly from Potato Grad. They're probably quite disgruntled at the fact that they've been moved halfway across the world just to come and work at a at a chemical plant. I would be honored if I was in that position. I'm not, but there we go. Right, electronic components. Electronic components is indeed still causing the problem. Look at this. Look at this structure, folks. It is working. It is It is actually happening. Can you believe it? Right, so missing resources, electronic components. We need, we need electronic components. Why are we not building electronic components? We are building electronic components. We're just not building them fast enough. We need plastics. We need plastics. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? <sighs> You're broken again. You're broken again. You are broken again, video game. Look, I need you to go back. I don't need... I... 
I don't need you to do what you're doing. This is not good. This, you see this? This is not good at all. Okay, copy schedule, paste, paste. You guys, you try. You need to both try this. Because I cannot, I cannot be manually clicking on this, on this boat. I don't need any wait until loaded. I just need as many boats as I can possibly get. As I can possibly get, just constantly pinging across. Constantly pinging across the ocean in order to get to where they need to go. You know, these two boats as well. They are both going to be entirely concerned. We're 100% in on plastics and chemicals right now. That's what we need to do. And you are going to go to the depot because you're a garbage boat. And I don't understand why you're still not working. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, right, so who is the... Who is the boat that is in charge of the boat? The distribution office that is in charge of selling stuff. Remove all connections. We're not... We're not going to deal with that. We're not going to deal with that at all. Yeah, so we're only going to... We're only, only... Only... Only going to move resources from the chemical plant... Or from the... From the chemical warehouse. Chemgrad warehouse and from the Chemgrad Road Cargo Station over to the storage. Oh, goodness gracious me. Yeah, so we're not going to sell, we're not going to sell anything. We're not going to sell anything at the border anymore. We're going to, we're going to keep it all. We're going to keep it all because that's what we need. We need plastics, we need chemicals. We can't, uh, we can't avoid that. Okay, still no, still no people working. Ah, it's because they're all working at the uh, the university. Of course, I didn't even, I didn't even think of that. Two hundred ninety people actually working at the university. Little bit OTT, given that the resources are uh, are taking a good long time to get here. So let's reduce, let's reduce down the number of people that are actually working on the construction site, and then the next stage will hopefully be to move them all into Chemgrad. There we go. Maybe we could think about another chemical plant. Maybe, maybe that's required. Yeah, let's keep it to, to like 30, 38. Sure, that sounds totally fine. Ah, there we are. 50 workers in addition to the two workers that we were able to load up onto the train. Very, very cool indeed. How are we doing? 250 workers over there. This is the game sort of auto assigning workers to each and every, each and every area. So I believe it probably... I say I believe it probably. I have no idea. But from what I can see, it looks like it's allocating roughly the same number of workers to each and every structure that we've got. Which is is actually okay. I'm actually totally okay with that because once we bring online once we bring online Chemgrad or the Chem What the heck are you doing? You didn't pick up anyone. You didn't pick you didn't pick up anyone. We've got it on unload? What the heck? I, what does that auto does that auto fix that in place? I mean that's that's total nonsense. If that's the case, uh, I didn't realize that that happened with trains. I thought when you just click trains, it was it was load and unload. But that's weird, I guess. Okay, either way, we've got two trains on this line now. They carry two hundred and fifty. Uh, I think that should be enough. Two trains, two trains each carrying 250 passengers. That seems, that seems totally fine to me. In addition to the 38 workers that we've actually got at the medical university. Not to mention, I, I actually anticipate that, I actually anticipate that the number of people living in this area will increase. It's gone down sharply, mostly because, what is that? Well, I mean, I guess we could get a pub in here. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a pub in, a pub in there. A lot of people don't have a job, and, you know, the reason that a lot of people didn't have a job was because I mucked, mucked up the, the route, the train route. Look at that. 250, or sorry, should I say 450 out of 500 workers. This is great. This is really, really, really good. Now we're in a situation where we're actually out of crops, which is also not great, but, I mean, that's, that's fine. That's, that's an issue that I can absolutely deal with. It's an issue that I can absolutely deal with. We got 170 people working at the greenhouse, 13 tons of crops per day max. Uh, we need to definitely probably get a second. Definitely probably. That's such a bad thing to say, Potato. Uh, we need to think about getting a secondary a secondary greenhouse in order to supply crops. Although in saying that, we do have Kobe Medium Distribution Office. We do have one truck. Yeah, we need to. 
we need to do we need to do grain transports directly from the other side of the map because I do have I do have a bunch of trucks that can do it so we can you know we can take grain directly from here from this area zero tons oh we actually do not have we do not have a surplus of uh, a surplus of grain is that the first time that's happened? I guess that's probably the norm. I guess I totally fixed harvested crops ready to transport and that's gone as well. Wow, I guess I totally fixed the grain situation. So now we probably have a... Now we probably have an undersupply of grain? To be honest, it looks like a lot of grain, but for the entirety of the map, it's probably... It's probably not anywhere near enough. That's... That's worrying. That's, that's actually kind of worrying. Well, I mean, that, that just incentivizes, that just incentivizes the, the addition of another greenhouse, frankly. That's what we need to get. That's what we need to get in order to, in order to ensure that our crop production is, is sustainable. Because without crops, our, our chemical production is going to go bye-bye. And without chemicals, our plastic production goes bye-bye. And without, without chemicals, our crop production goes bye-bye. There's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff that we need to that we need to get working. Anyway, returning over to the palace over here, as you can see, pretty much everything, pretty much everything is coming in as it should. Uh, it, it there is noticeably fewer frames over here, noticeably fewer frames. It's it's very janky. However, in saying that, everything everything looks fine. Everything looks a okay uh, from what I can see. We seem to be we seem to be getting all of the resources into where they need to go. I think the one way the one way issue, even though it still looks like a, a total mess, it looks fine. It's operating totally fine. And to be fair to myself, the traffic problems over the course of this episode really haven't been detrimental at all, and they've existed only for you know a fraction of the amount of time that we've uh, that we've had traffic issues in the past. Yeah, certainly I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, electronic components probably going to continue to be the the greatest thorn in my side. We are producing the occasional you know bit of electronic component. Not to mention the fact that I of course am uh, storing, not at nuclear grad warehouse or over there, but I am storing whatever it is 80, 80 something. Yeah, eighty nine tons of uh, of electronic components at Shipsky Warehouse number two. So you know, probably in the next episode, we're going to be reversing the polarity. That's right, the code word for this episode: reverse the polarity uh, of the trains in order to in order to resume service. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode right up right about now. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed it. I certainly have enjoyed uh, making it. Thanks as ever to all of the comments that come in. Do indeed leave me a comment uh, underneath this video. Also. I meant when I said, you better be following me on Twitch. That's right. Go do it. Go do it. Anyway, folks, thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks, as ever, to the fantastic Obra Potato Incorporated Patreon supporters. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana -na -na and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.